Hello, ladies and germs. You're listening to another episode from the Western Reviews podcast. Uh, theme song guy, where's my theme song music? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Wanda, but I can't play it. There are some weird cowboy-looking dudes with guns demanding money at the front door. What do you mean there's cowboy-looking dudes with gu- Whoa! <laughs> Fellas, fellas, can we settle down over there? No! Not till you tell us what you're going to be reviewing today. Uh, I'll be reviewing the 50s western show Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke! We love that classic show. Is it alright if we listen in on your review? Well, sure you can. Just as long as you keep down that gun shooting racket. Anyways. That's right, folks. Today's review is Gunsmoke. I said stop that racket! Sure. Imagine a time where Western shows were rampantly aired on television. There were plenty of options. In the late 50s and early 60s, there were plenty of Westerns airing on TV from Bonanza, which I previously reviewed, Rawhide, Maverick, The Lone Ranger, Have Gun Will Travel, The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, The Rifleman, and many others. But back to Gunsmoke. The series was created by Norman McDonald and John Meston and originally started as a run on the radio. The radio show debuted on April 26, 1952 and ended June 18, 1961 after 400 episodes. Or stories. Then, Gunsmoke began its transition onto television. With a completely changed main cast for TV, the show was picked up by CBS and began airing September 10, 1955, and ended its run on March 31, 1975 after airing 20 seasons worth of 635 episodes. Due to the show's lengthy run, it has the honor of being the second longest running primetime live action show on TV alongside the original Law & Order show, and it's the longest running primetime live action show from the 20th century period. A DVD set with all the seasons just released recently and is set to have over 400 hours of episodes on it. The show was wildly successful in ratings, topping the rankings in four consecutive seasons from the show's third to sixth seasons. However, there will be a slip in the show's ratings and it nearly ended up being cancelled by top CBS execs by its 12th season in 1967. However, after many pleas from viewers and congressmen alike, the show kept going until the end. But Gilligan's Island got the bad cut of the deal and was axed without a proper series finale. Speaking of series finales that don't tie up any loose ends, the same thing ended up happening to Gunsmoke by the end as well, as the cast wasn't expecting the show to end so abruptly and thought the series would go on another season, if not two or three more. The show has plenty of accolades as well, receiving five Emmy Awards and four Golden Globe nominations, but most of those definitely being honored to the supporting cast that we'll get into shortly. Now without further ado, let's get into the show's characters. So the show had plenty of characters throughout its run, but it wouldn't make much sense to go over them without starting out with one of the two main characters who stuck around the entire show. Marshall Matt Dillon, played by James Arness on TV and William Conrad on radio. Marshall Dillon runs Dodge City with a heart of gold and was quite smart and tough when he came to get rid of all the crooks, thieves, and other bad guys who crossed his town. Ain't you just a little bit out of your territory here, Marshall? I take my territory with me, and right now you're in it. Alongside the Marshall were an interesting group of supporting characters. Included the town's no-nonsense doctor, played by Milburn Stone, who remained in the show for most of his entire run alongside Marshall's Arness. Miss Kitty, played by Amanda Blake, who ran the town saloon and might have had a romance with the Marshall. You know, uh, maybe what I need is a, is a woman deputy. I'll pass the word around. Don't you want the job? I told you. You make me sick. Then there's characters who didn't stick around for no more than four seasons. Deputy Chester B. Good, in a relation to Johnny, played by Dennis Weaver, who left the show by season nine to do another show for NBC that didn't last very long. What's it, Chester? What's it? <laughs> 
Oh, I'm Ch that's my name, Chester. His replacement, the muttering and flustered Festus, played by Ken Curtis, and blacksmith Quint Asper, played by some dude named Burt Reynolds. He probably didn't get too far in Hollywood. Plus, there were other supporting characters. The show had a bevy of guest stars, including Harrison Ford, Richard Dreyfus, William Shatner, Dennis Hopper, Harry Dean Stanton, Adam West, Kurt Russell, Cicely Tyson, James Brown. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> not the same James Brown that everyone knows, another James Brown. Aww. Ricardo Montalban, Jed Clampett, aka Buddy Epson, Angie Dickinson, Martin Landau, a very young Jodie Foster, and Archie Bunker himself, Carol O'Connor. So needless to say, the show was in good company. Now, on to my thoughts about the show. From the episodes I've seen, and not all of them obviously, I can hardly store more than 400 hours of Google searches in my head, Gunsmoke along with Bonanza is definitely a well done western show. From well grounded characters, especially the Marshall, to the stories and plots ranging from debating whose land is really whom's, racial injustices surrounding a Chinese man or a group of Indians, gold mines, and much more. Usually, most episodes have a clever gun battle between the Marshal and so-and-so, or whoever's fighting, by the climax and had audiences by the edge of their seats, or their kneecaps just in case they feel any bullets. So would I recommend the show? Yes, if you have 400 hours in your hand. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. If you have some time to see the baddest top dog Marshal kick out the bad guys and enjoy some gut-busting humor between the townsfolk, you should definitely check out Gunsmoke. It gets the Western Review seal of approval. I'm the Western Wonder, and I hope you enjoyed this fairly, fairly quick episode. Well, it was every episode, but you know, this is especially quick. Next week, a particular show about a junk dealer and a dummy of a son. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, and I hope you stay tuned for the next one. Western Wonder out. <laughs> Will you guys ever stop with that gun shooting? <laughs>